Today we're going to talk about our Generation 4 unit. Uh, this unit, we've actually taken the hydration coils and we've moved them to the undercarriage of the trailer itself. Notice that we have the inlet on this side and we have the outlet on the opposite side. But we pull the water in through the hydration unit. Uh, we can either draft through it, uh, suck through it, or we can pump through the hydration unit. Uh, the coils are positioned so that the water moves through static mixers, a mix of fluid. Uh, the chemical is injected at the front side. We'll look at that in a minute. Here we have a, a, a charge pump, tri uh, the uh, centrifugal charge pump. We're tied into a tank. We're going to pull the water in through the centrifugal push. In this particular case, we're pushing through the hydration unit. Uh, we'll pump through the hydration unit, take our returns on the opposite side, and loop back into the, uh, into the tank. Uh, the trailer itself, we've got it set up. We have secondary containment built into the trailer. The totes, this is a four-tote trailer enclosed system for cold weather application. Um, the totes set in here, lock in place. We've got suction manifolds that hook up to the suction side of the totes uh, themselves. The system is a slave system, and that means that as we pump the fluid through it or we, or we draft the fluid through it, we have a flow meter that senses flow. As the flow meter senses flow, it tells the data processor what our flow rate is. We can preset or pre-select the chemical dosage so that the, so that the uh, data processor then tells the pump that we have uh, inside here how much chemical to pump, pump for every gallon of fluid that's moving through the system itself. Um, in this particular case, we've set up on a trailer, we've set uh, twin... Uh, okay, here you see the generator. The generator's up and running right now. Uh, it's powering the, the Chemtrack system. What we actually have in the Chemtrack is the software controls the chemical injection based on the flow rate that we put through the hydration coil. So here you notice that we're coming in through this system. We're either sucking through it or we're pumping through this. The flow meter itself senses the amount of fluid that we have moving through this system. It in turn tells the data processor what our flow is. And then we, we have the ability to set up on this what our dosage rate per 10 barrels. So here we have a dosage rate or a target um, dosage of 0.6 gallons per 10 barrels. So in other words, as we pump 10 barrels through this, it's going to dose chemical into the system at a rate of 0.6 gallons per 10 barrels. Um, we're also measuring pressure. We've got a pressure transducer that the pressure transducer is set up so that we can hook into the downstream side of the triplex and we can push that pressure signal back into the data processor and we'll record that pressure. Uh, the pressure does not Im impact or influence the dosage rate but it gives us the ability to set a baseline and to determine whenever we're pumping chemical if we need to increase or decrease our dosage. All this information is recorded into the data acquisition system in this, uh, in this setup. <clears throat> Here you notice that this is a touch menu system so we can go to our, this is our main menu and it's telling us what our water flow, maximum barrel per minute, what our triplex pressure is on the downstream side of the triplex, and then what our dosage rate. We can pull up our setup and under this menu, this is where we'll select what, our, what we want to dose the system with. We can set this up where we can dose it at one gallon per 10 barrels we hit enter. We've changed the dosage rate under the main menu. You'll see that, that we've got, when we start pumping, it'll actually come up to the target dosage of one gallon. So as we begin to pump through this, this will come up to one gallon per 10 barrels. Sweep volumes, we can select the amount of, uh, in this case, whether it be a manual or whether it be a um, automatic sweep, we can set it up so that the sweeps run. Here we've got a volume of 10 barrels. Our sweep ratio is 1.5 gallons per 10 barrels. That's added to the original dosage rate. So if we've got our dosage rate set, 
If we have our dosage rate set at one gallon per 10 barrels, we're gonna add another one and a half gallons per 10 barrels whenever we run a sweep. Right now we have it set up on manual sweep. We can also set this up so that we can run it off of automatic sweeps. So in our barrel sweep, we can run it on time, we can run it on volume, or we can run it manually for a pre-selected value. But the, the nice thing about this system is it lets us go through an entire gamut of different uh, um, scenarios. If we wanted to set up and say we want to run a sweep one barrel every 10 minutes, we can run one barrel and increase dosage for one barrel every 10 minutes and it would default back and forth or toggle back and forth continuously. We can also set it up so that we want to run on a volume basis or on a time basis. If we want to run every 15 minutes, we just want to run a sweep, we can do it every 15 minutes. We can do it every 10 barrels. Uh, it's infinitely variable in how we set this up based on what we determine the optimum operation to be. Under the stat menu, the stat's going to give us total chemical. So in this case, we're not reading anything, we're not bumping. It's going to give us a total chemical volume, and it's going to give us a total water volume. However much we would pump through the system, it's going to read and record this into the data acquisition system. The maintenance screen tells us that the pump is not pumping, but it's going to give us a hertz output and then the current draw off that hertz so we can determine if we're under heavy load with the pump during the course of the operation and it helps us identify what's actually going on with the pump as we're pumping the chemical through the system. That's what the maintenance is set up for. So under the main menu, when, when we begin to pump through this, We'll actually sense the water flow and it'll tell us what our barrels per minute are moving through the system, what our pressure is coming off of our pressure transducer, and then what our target dosage rate is and how much we're actually pumping with the chemical pump. So with that being said, uh, when the chemical pump on the inside starts pumping, it's actually going to inject into this, this uh, connection right here into the uh, hydration unit itself. So as we begin to pump through that, the pump on the inside starts pumping the chemical and pushes it into the hydration. So as water comes through here, it's mixing with the water, the chemical is mixing with the water, and when it comes to the end in the static mixers, the static mixers blend the fluid and the chemical together so that when it exits out the other end, it's fully, it's fully hydrated, it's fully mixed, uh, it, it's ready to go down hole, and, and we're able to optimize the chemical um, minimize the amount of chemical that's required and optimize the, the efficiency of the, uh, of the system itself. So, uh, that being said, we we'll go ahead and fire up the centrifugal. We'll pump through and we'll actually show under this uh, you know, what it looks like. The other thing the that, uh, that the system lets us do is it also lets us push the information via a uh, router. Uh, we can actually pull up all of the screenshots that we have here and functionally control this unit and system on a browser from a laptop uh, via this uh, wireless secured uh, um, system and it lets us control the unit the same as if we were standing here operating the touch panels themselves and we can do that from the browser the PC and we can do that at a distance up to two miles line of sight um, so the nice thing about that is it lets us move the uh, uh, the controllers over into the into the cab of the coal tubing unit or into a pickup or or into a office uh, and we can monitor uh, what the chemical dosage and application we can monitor the amount of fluid flow that we have through the system and we can make adjustments to the system based on uh, parameters of the operation so you know, it gives us a lot of flexibility and it gives us a lot of uh, uh, finite control within that. Okay, here you see the inside of the unit. Uh, this is a pump. This is actual chemical pump. Chemical pump is operated by an uh, electric drive motor. The drive motor goes through a gear reduction box and then the gear reduction box turns the chemical pump. Um, we've set up the suction comes off the totes so we can actually pull off the totes. Uh, so we can select one or any one or all four of the totes. Um, so you know, if we had different chemicals set up within this, we could suck from any one of the chemical totes, depending upon what the um, operation requires. <clears throat> the way this is set up is the data processor uh, tells the 
tells the uh, pump drive how fast, or the motor drive, how fast it needs to turn, and then, the, and then to match whatever the required dosage ratio is. Uh, on the undercarriage, this is where we have our hydration coils. Our hydration coils are just a continuous length of pipe moving from one end back and forth all the way through the system. Uh, we have inline static mixers incorporated into this. Uh, the inline static mixers are what's, what actually mixes the chemical and the fluid together. So as we pass in one end and exit out the other, uh, the chemical's in, introduced into it. Um, the amount of chemical that's introduced is dependent upon the flow rate that we have moving through the system itself. So if we've got two barrels a minute moving through it and we're selecting a dosage ratio of one gallon of chemical per ten barrels, every five minutes it's going to pump a gallon. So it's moving about two tenths of a gallon a minute uh, on the chemical pump itself, introducing that into the coils. And then the coils are mixing that through the inline static mixer. So when it exits out the other side, going to the suction side of the triplex pump and then going down hole or to the coil tubing unit or whatever that it might do. So this system is actually designed to hook up prior to going to the high pressure triplex. So we're introducing the chemical before it gets to the fluid pump that would then provide the uh, fluid power to either a snubbing unit or a workover rig or to a coil tubing unit. Um, so that the, so they don't have to batch mix chemical into that system. So they're not pouring buckets or or uh, trying to measure and. Okay, here and you notice we're tied into the tank. This is the suction line. Suction line runs over to the centrifugal pump. The centrifugal pump goes into the hydration unit into the front side. Uh, the entry position, the hydration unit, travels through the hydration tubes on the undercarriage and exits out at the last tube, returning then back over to the return tank that we have set up on the other side. So here we're just making a big loop um, using the pump itself, centrifugal pump, to push through the hydration. It's just a continuous uh, uh, length of uh, pipe. So we're just, um, as we suck through this or as we move through this, you know, that's, it's, it's really just a section of pipe. You can look at it as a, another section of hose that we put in the system in which we're adding the chemical to and then mixing the chemical in an in situ basis. From our maintenance menu, as we pull up this, we actually have a maintenance menu. And as we pull up the maintenance menu, we have a simulation. We can actually simulate flow moving through the system. So if I want to hit the simulator and turn it on, it would actually the system now thinks that it has water flow going through it. The data processor is telling the drive um, that we have fluid flow, so we can actually pump the system without having any fluid flow moving through the system itself. And uh, which is an important thing if we want to, uh, if we want to identify and kind of go through, uh, do a simulation, and just identify any changes uh, uh, that we need to make to the system during setup. So. When we set this up, when we select the dosage, we can come to this menu and we can actually see what we're asking the motor to do, see what the motor's actually doing, and then we can see the amount of drive current or the draw that we amperage that we pull off of it so we can identify um, you know, what's happening with the motor drive, itself. Uh, output on the pump, how fast to rotate to match whatever the requirements are for chemical dosing. Uh, chemicals introduced into it and then it goes to the suction side of the triplex and it goes down. Um, it's a slave system, volumetrically controlled. Um, the system is an in situ base. The nice thing about this is we can set the system up to dose at a rate of one gallon per ten barrels and if we're pumping at two barrels the pump's going to pump to match an equivalent one gallon per ten barrels. If we increase the flow rate through the system and raise it to three barrels a minute. The chemical injection is going to raise to make sure that we're constantly maintaining one gallon per 10 barrel equivalency. So as we increase or decrease flow rate, the pump speed will actually increase and decrease to maintain that dosage ratio as we're moving through that system. Uh, it saves guys having to make manual adjustments or trying to, uh, trying to make modifications to the system. The system automatically makes that adjustment, increasing and decreasing the pump speed output and the amount of chemical that we're pumping on a per minute basis.